Hi hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to my Sims 4 speedboarding video or welcome to the channel if you are new here. So in today's video I'm going to be building in the world of Tartosa, which is the world that we got from the game pack The Sims 4 Mild Wedding Stories and I'm going to be building a Italian inspired wedding venue. So this build ends up having three bedrooms and three bathrooms and it's built on I believe a 50 by 40 lot. Now I know I just said it's a wedding venue but it's got three bedrooms. Basically my approach coming into this build was I really wanted to sit down and build more so like a Tuscan inspired wedding venue in the world of Tartosa but I wanted it to be multi-purpose like multi-functional and so the way that I built it with one of the bedrooms I decided to make it into a marriage suite so if your sims wanted to once they get married they can stay over for the night if they fancy they've got like a massive reception room a massive bedroom a massive ensuite bathroom they've also got two balconies in the marriage suite one of them's got a hot tub more so just because I thought it'd be fun to have a hot tub in the marriage suite. But then as well as that in this build, on the downstairs I made it so it's got all these different rooms that kind of cater towards all the different events that we've got related to weddings in the game. So your sims can come here and they can have their engagement party, they can have rehearsal dinners, all the different stuff that we've basically got tied to weddings in the game. I tried to build this lot so it kind of caters towards all of them and I'm just so happy with, with this build. I'm just so happy and really proud of the way it turned out and the way that it came together and so yeah I really hope you like it as well but anyway getting on from that and talking a little bit more about the build and also what I'm doing right now so as you can see I've already come in and pretty much built the whole main shell the whole main structure for this what I imagine used to be a castle of a build which by the way I have got a bit of a backstory for this lot because I was personally picturing it used to be a castle and it used to belong to a certain someone but then it, since then it's kind of been like renovated and turned into a wedding venue but I'll get on and speak about that shortly but you can see that I pretty much built all the main structure pieces for this lot I'm just currently coming in and placing down the wallpapering and then also just playing around with this little archway at the front of the build now in terms of the windows majority of the doors and then also all the wallpapering I decided to use the stuff that we got from the latest kit which was the Sims 4 castle estate kit honestly when we first got that kit I liked it like I really liked it but I was a bit I'm an R in terms of how much will I actually use this kit because there's only a handful amount of builds that I saw myself using the castle estate kit in but for this build yeah the castle estate kit really came in handy and it kind of made this whole entire build come to life also something that i do want to mention because i feel like it is quite important to mention it i was looking at a picture when i was building this i nearly said house when i was building this lot it's because i used to think that this used to be someone's house but now it's been made into a wedding venue but when i was building this lot i was inspired by a picture that i saw on pinterest i will find the picture and i'll pop it up on the screen now so you can have a little look it seems to be some sort of model to me it looks like it's sitting on someone's side table or something but I just thought it was really pretty and when I saw it I instantly knew that I wanted to build it to be a wedding venue in the game because if you've been following my channel for a while you might be aware that this build that I'm doing right now has literally been in my mind for like a year <laughs> like I mentioned that I wanted to build a Tuscan wedding venue almost around about a year ago on this particular lot because where I'm building I'm building on a lot which is called the old wood neck tree and initially when you go into a brand new save file this is meant to be a residential but the particular location of this lot has the prettiest views I'm not joking there is a massive waterfall it's got this massive body of water and it is just so picturesque and when I was looking at all the different lots initially when I came in I was kind of like planning out my save file I realized that this lot which is initially meant to be a residential you know it's meant to be someone's house initially in a brand new safe file would be better suited to be a wedding venue because when you go into a brand new safe file in the world of Tartosa in this neighborhood the neighboring lot that's meant to be the wedding venue but the the lot is in terms of like the screenshot perspective and in terms of like how pretty it is I just thought that this lot was so much better suited because me myself personally I am such a big screenshot player like honestly I've mentioned this before but I half the time whenever I play the game I just take screenshots I love being able to look back on all the different moments in my sims lives I literally have a separate hard drive that is just filled with all different screenshots from literally every single household that I've probably ever had because I never delete my screenshots and so when it came in and I was planning out 
what lots were going to be what in this world i knew that i was going to switch this residential to be a wedding venue because then in gameplay if your sims were to get married here they've got the most picturesque pretty screenshots of a waterfall in the background and so you might notice as i come in i place down like the wedding arch or i place down like a little fountain or something all them things that you might want to get your sims to take pictures near I make sure that it's got basically a nice background for it. It's also kind of the main reason why this castle ends up being so high and on such a high terrain manipulation because when I was building all the different shapes and I was doing all the different bits and bobs, I was basically kept on turning the camera around to see the waterfall, which you can't see the waterfall when I'm focusing on like this portion of the build, but when I spin the camera 180 degrees round, you might be able to notice the waterfall in the background. But basically, I didn't want to place down the wedding arch on the lowest point of the build because you can't really see the waterfall and so i realized that if i was to level up the house and basically put it on a really high foundation then that way the wedding arch can still be on like the first floor if you want to put it that way of this build but then you still have like the really pretty views of the waterfall in the background hopefully that makes sense but with that yeah i basically made it so this whole entire castle is on a really high foundation and then that's what kind of got me with the idea of okay well maybe it's built on a really big hill or like a really big cliff or something and so i end up coming in and placing down all this terrain manipulation and you'll see i end up placing down so many different rocks i keep in the majority of the footage for this build if you're curious it ended up taking me around about nine and a half ish hours well that's um, that's the amount of footage that i had there was <laughs> that's obviously not including the times that i paused recorded and i was staring a lot figuring out what i was going to do next but in terms of footage i had around about nine and a half hours worth of like content but i had around about two and a half hours honestly of just rock placement <laughs> i'm not joking i spent so much time placing down every single individual rock and making sure that it was blended and it wasn't like floating and like it came out of the ground seamlessly i spent so much time and so i did decide to cut out some smaller little sections of me placing down rocks more so at the front portion of the bill because that was really fiddly that particular area but yeah for the most part i tried to keep in the majority of the footage for this build within this video the only things that i really cut out other than like some rock placement where I cut out one reception room on the inside as well as one of the bathrooms. Like I already mentioned, it ends up being three bedrooms and three bathrooms. There ends up being the marriage suite, which I've already told you about, which ends up having a massive bathroom itself. Like the, the marriage suite bathroom ends up being probably one of the biggest bathrooms I think I've ever decorated. And it's also one of my favorites. And the reason why, it is just so different to any other bathroom that I've ever furnished. I use the castle estate kit in the bathroom i tried to make some sort of like walk-in shower but then i use castle estate windows it doesn't sound like it makes sense but honestly it works I, I just thought it really went together but yeah with the the bedrooms and the bathrooms we have the marriage suite and they've got their own little bathroom we then also have an extra two bedrooms i try to decorate them to be getting ready rooms for if you was to have a wedding you know sometimes when you get married I've never been married myself personally but you know when you see people getting married or they they get married in films or tvs or whatever it seems to be a thing where you have separate getting ready rooms depending on what area of the party that you're meant to be from so i'm going to use the example of having like a bride and a groom so you know sometimes you'll have like the bridal party and you'll have an area where you can get ready get your makeup done get your hair done you know have your photos taken all that kind of stuff and then there'll be a separate room for like the groom and the groomsman and they'll have their own little section i basically decorated the rooms to make it look like separate getting ready areas hopefully you're following my drift but they also double up to be bedrooms and so if your sims want you to you could have their friends stay over you know part of the wedding party their friends could stay over with you if your sims have got kids they could also stay in this lot there's basically a few different options for if your sims want to stay here overnight but as well as that on the inside that ends up being almost like a ballroom on the downstairs because i wanted there to be somewhere where your sims could have their first dance so i placed down a massive like dance floor mat in the middle of the room i also placed down a bar in there so your sims can have a few different drinks there is also a little band station which i made which i placed down like a piano a little bar stool with a guitar next to it and then like a microphone i was thinking maybe your sims have hired like a band to play at their wedding or something i also made it so if you wanted to you could run this lot as a restaurant which might be a bit weird but hear me out i'm thinking if your sims want to have a rehearsal dinner and you don't want to have to go and download like another lot of the gallery that's a restaurant to have this rehearsal dinner in 
you could just get them to have it here. I made it so we've got like the little host station, we've got all of the different restaurant e bits and bobs. I basically made sure after I finished filming that I'd place down everything that your sim needs to be able to go to a restaurant and eat at a restaurant and yeah, I mean, it works if your sims want to and they don't want to get married here, they could come out for dinner here and your sims can, they can eat in one of the little separate eating areas. And then as well as that, there is a ton of different reception rooms. I placed down reception rooms kind of like by, you see that big archway, which has some stairs in front of it and then it kind of goes down some more stairs and then you've got the wedding arch. The archway that I'm talking about is the one from the castle estate kit. Well, basically in there, I was thinking for like storyline purposes, what about if your sims get married and they've got really emotional parents and their parents want to kind of get ready to walk them down the aisle and they kind of meet downstairs. It's kind of like a little waiting room for your sims to like walk out the archway and then go and get married. It was just something that I was thinking about. And so, yeah, there is multiple different reception rooms. There is also a kitchen in this lot, which is kind of tied to like the restaurant seating area, but there is, yeah, a kitchen if your Sims want to and they don't want to run it as a restaurant. And maybe your Sims are quite unorganized and they forgot to go and buy a wedding cake. Your Sims can make it in the kitchen. And then also on the downstairs, there ends up being another bathroom. There is also a bathroom upstairs, but outside of the marriage suite. So in one of the bedrooms or like one of the getting ready rooms, I made it so that's got an ensuite. But then downstairs, I also made it so there were some like communal toilets. I used some of the toilets that are like bathroom stalls because in that way I could have a three in one room. And so basically if your Sims have come to a wedding here, if your Sims are getting married, and and they don't want to go upstairs there is also a bathroom downstairs but either way moving on from that and finally getting on and actually talking about the the idea that i had for kind of like this builds backstory or like who used to live in this castle so if you're familiar with my channel you might be aware that for quite some time i've been in the process of making a save file for the sims 4 which if you're curious what a save file is it's basically like a version of the game that someone can create and then share with others so you can renovate buildings you can make new buildings give townies makeovers or create new families i'm basically in the process of making my own save file i often get questions when it's coming out and honestly i wish i could tell you but i just i'm not at a point where i feel comfortable enough to share it yet and so hopefully it will be out at some point in the near future but i'm basically going through and rebuilding every single lot in the sims 4 giving every single townie a makeover making new townies and also giving the sims 4 a little bit more law now if you're familiar with my channel you might have seen recently i built a castle in the world of windenburg it was called Windenburg Castle, which in all defense, it's not the most creative name, but it was a castle and I did build it in the world of Windenburg. But basically for that build, I had a bit of a backstory and a little bit of lore that was kind of tied to that building. And basically the idea that I had for it, I'm not gonna go too in depth because it's a separate video, but to kind of give you a very cut a long story short, it was a sim that is meant to be in the Sims franchise who is called Princess Cordelia. There is so much around her in the game in terms of there is so many different objects named after her. We have like a bust of her in the game. Like there is just so much lore tied around to the Sims and for my save file, I'm really trying to implement as much lore as I could possible. And so when the castle sake kit came out, I thought perfect opportunity. I'm gonna build her a castle that I imagine she escaped to once her castle in the world of Tartosa got invaded by sloths. I'm not pulling your leg, I promise. That is part of her backstory in The Sims 4. She was meant to be this princess that was originally living in the world of Tartosa and basically an army of sloths came to Tartosa and invaded her castle and she had to do a runner. And so her backstory is she ended up on a pirate ship. She had a ton of different pirate boyfriends. And I was thinking of my save file, well, what about if when she was on this pirate ship, she came across the island in Windenburg, decided to settle there and what I built, I basically made into a bit of a rundown version of her castle that I imagined that she escaped to. But I was thinking that this wedding venue that I'm currently building used to be her castle that she used to live in before it got invaded by sloths. To be honest, if you really wanted to, you could have this as a wedding venue in your game. You could also run it as a restaurant, like I've mentioned. But if you really wanted to, you could just make this into a residential and your Sims could technically just live here full time. I'd maybe delete the wedding venue and all the different like seating areas, but I mean, there's a kitchen, there's multiple different bedrooms and bathrooms. There's technically a few different lounge spaces, which I made into reception rooms. But yeah, I was thinking that this castle, which is now Tartosa's like number one wedding spot number one w wedding venue used to be princess cordelia's castle i didn't place down that many items on the inside that kind of relate to a lot i didn't place down like her her bust in the game but 
I placed down a few different paintings here and there that she supposedly painted at one point, but yeah, I just thought I'd mention it. I just thought it was a nice backstory. Of course, you don't have to go along with that backstory, but it was just the idea that I had when I was building this lot. But anyway, moving on from that, as you can see, I'm currently coming in and I've started placing down all the different rocks to kind of hide all the terrain manipulation which I've placed down. So in terms of the rocks that I've used, I actually just used one rock the whole entire time. Like this whole entire lot is built on basically the same rock just over and over and over again. Because I know from previous like building experience that the wedding storage rocks that we have in the build and buy category, they seem to have like some weird stuff going on when you place them down and you try and get your sims to walk over them. Like it just doesn't seem to make it so the areas are usable in my own personal gameplay experience anyway. Like sometimes if I was to do a build like this and merge in, all the different rocks that we've got from the My Wedding Stories live edit menu, I've found that previously in the past, my sims aren't able to walk in their particular areas. And so when it came around to doing this build, I thought, do you know what, I'm gonna just cut out the middleman, not try and experiment with it. I'm just gonna use some base game rocks. And so I end up using basically one rock this whole entire build and just basically made it smaller, rotated them in different ways to make it look like multiple different rocks. But yeah, no, it's literally just one rock. I also placed down some broken down castle ruins, which the ones that I've used are from the get together live edit menu. And the ones that I'm talking about are on the right hand side, you see where it seems to be some sort of a building that's like kind of like crumbled away or something. I placed that down because you'll see, I ended up placing down some like fairy lights and making it so it's a nice little like wedding entrance area because when I was building this lot, I was trying to think of all the different things I wanted to include both on the inside and then on the outside as well. And there is some duplicates, like there ends up being a piano on the inside, but then also the outside. But I was basically thinking, well, what about if your Sims want to walk down the aisle? I want there to be like a little pianoist. I want him to be having a little sing song. I want him to be doing like a wedding entrance song. And so in that little snippet where I placed down that live edit building, I end up placing down, yeah, a microphone. And then I placed down all these different live edit fairy lights. And it's just, it's so pretty. Also actually, it's something that I wanted to mention. You won't see it because I actually did it when I came in and I was playtesting this build, but I do end up adding in some little lanterns onto the floor for nighttime lighting. So basically it's nicely lit up of a nighttime. Also, you won't see the lanterns in the screenshots. I've already come in and I've, I've playtested the whole entire build, by the way, if you're curious. I playtested it as a wedding venue twice because the first time I didn't add an efficient and I wanted to make sure the efficient can get round the back of the wedding arch. And so I playtested it with two weddings, also playtested it as a restaurant. And then I just got my sim to run around, you know, sit on every single seat, playtest every single mirror and, you know, all the kind of stuff just to make sure it was all usable. And if you're Wondering, the whole entire lot is fully functional. Your sims won't run into any problems if you do want to download it. But yeah, you know, I added in the lanterns after I took the screenshots. I actually only added them in this morning when I was playtesting it. And yeah, they just won't be in the screenshots. I took the screenshots for this build, can't lie, a couple of days ago. And if I'm being completely honest with you, the computer that I built this venue on, I don't even have at the minute. I probably made that sound like this lot or like this build broke my game. It didn't. And don't worry, it's not going to break yours. It was very much my computer was broken anyway and it just had to go in for a pair. Honestly, I could, I'm not going to, but I could sit down and tell you about the PC problems that I've had over the past six months. But we will quite literally be here till next week. Basically, to cut a very long story short, I bought a new PC maybe like six months ago or something. And it's never worked properly. It's basically been broken ever since, but I sent it away once to be repaired and it just took so long to get back to me. And when it came back, it was still broken, but I just didn't have the art to let it go. And so I've just been, <laughs> I've been working with a, a PC that has a CPU, which don't ask me what a CPU is. I don't know, the computer people told me, but I've been working with a computer that CPU is basically broken. It basically doesn't work. And yeah, this week I basically had to send it back and it really, really, really upset me because I love my computer, which I mean, I know it'll be all right in the end. And I'm really hopeful that when it gets back to me, it will just work properly. The main issue that I have with it, and I, I will get back to the build in a second, but we're just having a bit of a catch up. We're here for an hour, so might as well. But the main issue that I had with it is whenever I would edit, render or export any video from Premiere Pro, then it would basically blue screen it. It would just kind of like freak out and then just, yeah, just blue screen. And that was my main issue. When I was playing The Sims, it was lovely. It was smooth and it was fine. But apparently it's CPU related, which like I said, I don't know what that means. I'm not a computer person by any stretch of the imagination. I'm very grateful that when I built my computer, I had people around me that knew what they were talking about. I just said, yeah, all right. And then I just went with it. But if you are curious about my PC specs, 
when I get it back and I know it's working, I will be more than happy to tell you about it. But I almost like have this bit of an issue where a lot of people often have been asking me what my computer like specs are, like what kind of computer I have. And my issue is, I could tell you, but it hasn't been working for me and I don't want to tell you computer specs and it not work for you as well, do you know what I mean? So I've been kind of telling people my PC is a bit broken at the minute and I've been saying that for the past six months but yeah hopefully when I get it back it will all be fine and smooth and dandy and stuff and yeah anyway besides the point that was completely irrelevant but that has been what's happening to me in the past week I've just said I'm an absolute mare of it but I'm very grateful that I've got this computer that I'm currently talking to you on which this computer that I'm currently talking to you on she's very old but at least she can export a video from Premiere Pro is all I'm saying but either way besides the point getting back to the build and also getting back and talking about what I'm doing right now so as you can see I just placed down at some fairy lights and the fairy lights that I placed down they're kind of like wrapping around a tree so both the tree and then also the fairy lights are from the cottage living live edit menu and it's almost like the fairy lights that wrap around the tree are like purposely made for that particular tree I believe if you go to the world of Henfield and Bagley you can find that tree and all these different fairy lights kind of like in one of the environments, you know, I think it's called the Bramble Wood off memory. You know where it's like really, I was about to say, you know where it's really field deep. You know, there's like loads of fields. I'm pretty sure you can find them in that neighborhood. But yeah, they're from the live edit menu. And I just thought they would be so perfect for a wedding menu. And especially for like screenshots and stuff, because where I place down that tree with the lights wrapping around it, that is kind of like the outdoor seating area. Like I've already said, there is also an indoor seating area, which I kind of made, if you wanted it to be, you could make it run as a restaurant, but there is also an outdoor seating area as well. I placed down at two round tables with a bunch of different chairs around them. And then I also placed down another table, but it's a separate table from the other table. And what I mean by that is I really wanted to have matching tables and chairs for like the guests and then also the people that are getting married. But my only issue was, I tried to use a lot of the stuff that we got from the My Wedding Stories game pack, but there just wasn't a small enough table for just like two chairs. But then I found, you know the Dine Owl game pack? We've got some really nice tables and chairs that kind of match them big circular ones from My Wedding Stories. And so the circular tables are from My Wedding Stories, but then the little like rectangle table that I only placed down two chairs on, that is from Dine Out. And I was so happy that they actually come in at somewhat of a matching swatch. I mean, in all fairness, it is just white, but sometimes having matching whites and matching blacks in the game is really hard. And yeah, it's it just ma managed to match. But on the little tables, I placed down some flowers. I also placed down some little candles. And then I also placed down a little like buffet table in that area as well. The buffet table that I've used is from the My Wedding Stories game pack. But I believe we also have one from... Is it the luxury party stuff pack? It's one of the earlier stuff packs, but we have one from My Wind Stories, which is just so much nicer, in my opinion. So I decided to use that one. And then I also placed down some sort of like little drink fountain on top of it. Now, initially, I just thought it was going to be gravy because the name of that little drink fountain that I placed down onto the buffet table is called Gravy Fountain. But your sims can have like apple juice, they can have chocolate coming out of it, they can have whatever they fancy in. So yeah, I popped that onto it. But I was thinking if you wanted to, you could probably just delete that little like gravy fountain, chocolate fountain thing, whatever you want to class it as, and place down your sims wedding cake there. Because I was trying to find a perfect placement to place down like a little single table for your sims to have their wedding cake on. I just couldn't find one. And so I was thinking, well, they could either just pop it onto one of the little tables outside or failing that, you could just replace that little yeah the little drink station and then put the wedding cake there but either way moving on as you can see i'm just currently coming in and playing around with a ton of different bushes the ones that i'm using are from the get together expansion pack and at this particular area over here i played about with for so long i did decide to cut a little bit of it out but basically i really wanted to have this particular bush kind of like either sides of a stairwell leading down to where your sims will get married but my issue was the bush was just a bit too big. So you see where that big archway is, where you've got that little set of stairs that has three steps on. Basically, on the inside, like I mentioned, there ends up being like a little reception room. I was personally picturing when your sims get married, if they've got some quite emotional parents that want to walk them down the aisle, they would kind of meet them in that room and then they'd walk down out of that archway together. I basically wanted 
that kind of like layered cake stair situation if you're following along with me i wanted it to have that particular bush from get together because it is one of my favorite bushes in the, that sounds really strange but it's one of my favorite bushes in the game because it's so pretty it's a really dark green but it's got these really small little dainty white flowers on it and i often try and use it in my bills just because i just think it's really beautiful but i really wanted it to be either side of a staircase where your sims walk down when they're kind of like walking down the aisle but my issue was on one side it would fit but the other side there just wasn't enough space for me to be able to like place it down and for it to not be floating i tried and played about with it for so long i tried to merge it into the rocks i tried to play around the terrain manipulation i had a bit of a nightmare trying to figure it out in the end i decided tell you what i'm just going to size it down really small duplicate it three times so it kind of fills out the thickness if you want to put it that way like the the depth of the bush and then it basically duplicate that over a ton of different times lower it on top of each other i still get the same effect of the bush like it's still the same dark green bush with these little tiny white dainty flowers then that way i can kind of make it fit and i mean it worked out that way but yeah i just basically merged them in to kind of like the terrain manipulation where the hill was kind of ever so slightly coming down and yeah it was sorted in terms of the landscaping for this build i tried to keep it very lush like green lush i wanted to use all different types of green bushes green trees green just plants in general and also ivy and stuff that was very dark green but then kind of i don't want to say spice it up but you know like zhuzh it up a little bit by using it some white flowers and i placed down these particular flowers in some corners you can kind of see one on the screen right now the ones that i'm using that are kind of like pampas grassy they're not really but hopefully you're following my drift but them ones if you're wondering are from the romantic garden stuff pack never use them but they're really pretty and they're just like perfect for a wedding venue and so yeah i decided to drop them about in landscaping but then in terms of like the ivy that i placed down into the walls if you're curious that ivy is from discover university and you can find it in the live edit menu we do have some ivy in the normal like build and buy category that's not hidden behind like the live edit or the debug cheat but i always use the discover university one because it's a bit darker it's a little bit more realistic and i find that it's a lot easier to make look realistic as well because some of the ivy that we've got from discover university you can like wrap it around different bump outs and you can wrap it around the walls rather than some of the ivy that we've got in like the normal build and buy are more like ivy clumps if, if you're following along with me and so yeah i scattered some ivy around the build also you can see that i've obviously placed down the wedding arch which i completely spoke over but the wedding arch that i've used is just one that we got from the my wedding stories game pack and then on the floor, I placed down the shortest aisle that your sims can walk down. I really wanted to place down the medium one so your sims have got a little bit more like steps to take when they when they walk down the aisle but i just couldn't seem to make it fit if i knew that i wanted this build to be 100 percent playable and so yeah i placed down a little aisle that your sims can walk down and then underneath the aisle itself i placed down a rug but it looks like little petals that like the flower power has like scattered when your sims are walking down the aisle i just thought it was so sweet and so yeah i placed that down also placed down at some chairs in front of the aisle i think in total i placed down I think like 12 or something like that initially i had three sets of three like three different rows of seats but i just didn't want to cramp up the aisle space i didn't want it to make it look like i was just trying to shove it in just for the sake of it and so i did decide to make it so there is three seats but two different rows so in total what is that three six nine there's 12 seats which to be fair i don't think any of my sims have more than 12 mates so i feel like you should be all right but if you want to you can definitely add more seats but yeah i just didn't want to cramp it up and make it look like i'm just placing them down almost for like the sake of it i wanted it to be pretty for the screenshots and like i've been saying like throughout this video when i was building this i was really trying to keep it in mind for all the different locations for photo opportunities and you would have seen when i placed down the wedding art i kept on checking it, the view of the aisle and if you look at the screenshots at the end of the video it has such a pretty view of the waterfall in the distance and i'm really happy that past me thought about all the different lots that i was going to build on in the world of tartosa and what i was going to locate them to because i'm so happy i decided to make this venue into the wedding venue rather than just be some random sims house or something but either way besides the point moving on as you can see i finished up the front of the build which is actually kind of technically the back of the build it's kind of like the back garden i'm currently moving over and this is actually technically the front of the build but i've currently moved in and i started placing down a ton more different rocks like i said i spent a long time placing down these rocks and i spent so much more time just trying to make it so all the rocks were connected to the ground there was no float in there was no issues and it looked seamless but yeah it did take a little bit of time at trying to get it perfect 
at the front of the build you can see the way that you kind of like walk up to this what i was imagining used to be a castle you kind of have these two different staircases on either side kind of like a left wing and a right wing and they kind of like meet in the middle and that's where the front door is if you're wondering by the way all these different fence pieces that i'm using and all these different handrails they are from discover university and you can find them in the live edit menu now the reason why i decided to use them in this build i've used them in some of my previous builds in the world of tartosa but I just didn't I didn't just pick them out because I liked them. I'm actually just trying to make it seem like it blends in with the rest of the neighborhood and kind of blends in with the environment because if you were to travel around the world of Tartosa and you were to look in all the different neighborhoods, you'll notice that these fence pieces and like these handrails are actually in the world itself. It's just really strange because for the live edit menu for my wedding stories, we haven't got all of these different individual pieces. We've only got one like fence piece because basically the way that I made all these different like little fenced in areas and all these different like handrail areas is I used a combination of multiple different fences and handrails from Discover University because I knew from that DLC we had more variation of this particular fence and we've got the same fence from my wedding stories but we only got one version of this fence. I really hope that makes sense but basically even though I use the ones that we got from Discover University, I promise you, you can find them in the world of Tartosan. So I purposely use them just so it blends in with the with the rest of the world and it kind of blends in with the rest of the environment. And also, I know I've already said it because I've already told you that I placed this build, but your Sims can still walk up and down the stairs. <laughs> it's, it's no issue whatsoever. Weirdly enough, you can actually move object stuff onto stairs. So I've had it before in the past where I've made like more realistic family homes and I've like moved object shoe boxes onto the bottom of staircases and your sims can still walk up it like absolutely no hassle and so yeah if you're looking at it and thinking can my sims even get up the stairs they can go up and down the stairs both sides absolutely no hassle whatsoever but either way moving on as you can see i'm basically just coming in and finishing up the front portion of the build by adding in some final landscaping touches at some points i decide to like rotate bushes to make it look like some particular bushes are like growing on the side of almost like a cliff mountain i don't know what to class it as like is this is this castle on a cliff is it on just a very small hill I don't, I don't know what it is but i just basically tried to make it look like some of the landscaping items are kind of like coming out of the rocks and it's kind of like grown over the rocks if you get what i mean like it's kind of like hanging over it and if you're wondering i did use the tool mod to rotate them and if you're a console player or you're someone that doesn't play with mods in your game i use the tool mod a lot in this build saying that to be fair i use the tool mod in pretty much every single build that i do but whenever i use a tool mod it doesn't affect whether you can download the build or not even though i use the better build by mod and the tool mod to help me build this like castle wedding venue whatever you want to class it as it's no no point required for you to download them to have this castle in your game the way that the tool mod was made is you can basically just take an object manipulate it rotate it size it up size it down do whatever you fancy with it but the way that it works, it translates over and you're not required to have the mod to have it look the same in your game. Basically, what I'm trying to say, if you're someone that plays on console, if you play on PlayStation, if you play on Xbox and you want to download this build but you don't have mods because for some reason console can't have mods, it's, it's our thing, I wish they could, but you can still download this build and it will still look the exact same in your game is basically what I'm trying to say. But either way moving on as you can see i've now moved on into the inside of this build and i've started off by like the front initial hallway so as you would have just seen i had to fiddle around with the floor plan a little tiny bit because initially when i built the shell of this castle i kind of I made it so your sims would go through an archway and then once they're through the archway they go through the front door because i thought that was a little bit more grand and a little bit more like I don't know, like wedding like but then when i was doing the front portion where i have like the left wing or the staircase and the right wing i then needed to kind of like pull the front door over but then in doing that i ever so slightly changed the initial floor plan on the entrance and at one point in time it had it so your sims would walk in through the front door and it would just be like a single staircase like leading upstairs and i was thinking it's a castle you can't just have like a normal suburban house staircase in it. so i decided to basically push it back a little bit make it so there was no like initial archway you just walk through you kind of just walk up straight straight to the front door and then that way i was able to add in two more staircases either side and it just made it feel a little bit more like grand a little bit more like special if you want to put it that way and then above these staircases it's a completely open ceiling so your sims basically can walk in and it's kind of like a balcony on top of it if that makes any sense but over here as you can see i placed down this really long rug which the one that i use is from the vampires game pack it's currently in this like whitey gray swatch 
I change it. I say I change it, I, I completely remove that rug. Like that rug ends up being deleted. I end up replacing it with a rug that we got from the Laundry Day stuff pack. It's in this like light creamy kind of swatch because it coming on into the interior, I was really happy with like the front initial entrance hallway. I have these little like, almost like Ottoman benches either side of the staircase and you would have seen I emerged in like little little ring cushions I placed down the flower powers basket what they were like throw the petals out of I even placed down a engagement ring or like a wedding ring onto the little stool and I was thinking it's the ring that's going to be used later on outside when you're to get married but I placed down that rug initially and then once I came in throughout the rest of the build and I started doing other hallways and like the reception rooms and stuff it ended up being a more like creamy beige interior if you get what i mean and i just felt like that rug that i initially used that really long one from vampires it just wasn't matching with the rest of the build and so i do end up changing it to be yeah one that we got from the laundry day stuff pack you would have seen as well after you walk in through that initial hallway archway area you kind of go under some curtains don't worry, your sims can walk through them curtains on the archway, there is no hassle with it whatsoever. I feel like people often ask me if your sims can still walk through curtains and they don't even know it's there, like honestly, they just completely ignore it. But then you kind of walk in and that big area where I placed down that kind of like worn down rug is kind of like the centerpiece of the downstairs of this building. It kind of connects all the different rooms together, but then you can kind of go through one of the archways and then you get into one of the reception rooms and then just off the reception rooms is the communal bathroom, which you just saw me finish furnish. Funnily enough, out of this whole entire lot, I found the hardest thing that I was struggling the most with was just trying to figure out how do I decorate the communal bathroom of this what once was Princess Cordelia's castle now turned into a wedding venue and make it so it's community toilets that don't look too out of place. I just really struggled with the community toilet because I didn't want to place down the individual toilets. You know, like you get normal toilet that you have in your sims' houses. I didn't want to place them down because community lots are such a perfect way to use toilet stools that we have in the game. But then with the toilet stools that we've got in the game, they're just a little bit modernised. And I tried to make it seem a little bit more like fancy, a little bit more like castle-like by placing down some kitchen counters that we got from vampires. I just really struggled with the bathroom, which it's actually really funny if you think about it because this whole entire lot and the thing that I struggled most with was literally just the community bathrooms. But either way in there i use the toilet stools which i think are from the discover university expansion pack in the white swatch and then yeah i use some vampires counters and then i merge in a bunch of different mirrors under the wall i tried to like combine them to make it look like one whole mirror and there's no like seams you can't tell that it's like three or four mirrors all put together and then on top of it initially i placed down this really pretty wall decoration that we got from the My Wedding Stories game pack. It's meant to be some sort of like white carved out heart. It's beautiful, but I just didn't end up liking it. You, you'll see, I'll change it in a second. I just really ended up replacing it with some kitchen counters. No, not kitchen counters, kitchen cabinets. The ones that I placed down either side of like the little sink area, I just basically get like the smaller version and then basically just delete the wall decorations on top and then just try and merge in these these like counter cabinet pieces and just try and make it fit. It's just, I just really struggled with the bathroom, but either way, besides the point, outside the bathroom, you would have seen, I just did one of the reception rooms in there ends up having uh, two bookcases. The ones that I've used are from the Strangefield game pack. And you would have seen as well, I merged in these little like figurines of Sims getting married. So I tried to like, I basically went through the debug menu and found them and I sized them down ever so slightly. And then I popped them onto the bookcase alongside with some like books and some flowers, a vase, vase, or whatever you say. I say both because I never know which one's correct. But I just tried to basically fill out the bookcases. And then also in that room, I placed down a little tea set. So if your Sims fancy, they can sit in that little waiting room and have a cup of tea. But Either way, moving on, as you can see, I have now moved over into the next room, which is almost like the ballroom. So I was thinking next to like the marriage suite on the upstairs level, this would probably be one of the most used rooms in terms of gameplay when it comes around to, if you ever did fancy downloading this, like I was about to say, how to get this build and having it in your game. Because in this room, I basically tried to implement all the different things that we've got from the My Wedding Stories game pack and just basically try and make it fit in and make some sort of sense. So I was personally picturing your sims would probably get married in my own personal gameplay, I'll probably do it in like the afternoon or something because it's really nice lighting. But I was thinking they'd get married in the afternoon, they'd watch the sunset, eat some dinner outside, 
in the little like dining areas and then once the sun is completely set it's completely like dark outside they'd kind of like move on into this room and this is kind of like where the party happens <laughs> so in here i tried to make it so there's a little sectioned off stage area for a little band to play i was thinking that it was sims maybe hire a local band to come and play at their wedding and they're in this little stage area that ends up being a piano in here it also ends up being a guitar and then also a microphone i placed down the guitar next to a bar stool and then i end up placing down a little water bottle next to the bar stool as well because i was thinking when the guitarist is having a little bit, bit of a like five minute break or something and they want to have a sip of water it's just kind of like placed down next to their little bar stool but then also in this room over here i tried to make it seem like there was some sort of present table. Now, I did play around with trying to find different objects and different things in the game that I could merge onto this table to make it so it's somewhat of like a, a wedding gift. You would have seen at one point, I pulled out a microwave because I was just thinking in my head, maybe someone's bought the marrow cup on a new microwave and it's like their wedding present, which I know is a bit weird, but that kind of stuff people do give. It's handy. You'd use your microwave all the time. And so I did try and pull out a microwave and then you would have seen, I quickly deleted it because I thought, what am I doing? And so I don't end up having a microwave, but on that little table, I basically end up merging in loads of different, just kind of like pretend presents. The ones that I've used are from the free holiday pack. We have got a pile of presents that you can place down in the game, which are from Seasons, which your Sims can open, but just from personal experience playing with that particular pile of presents from Seasons, I know that you can't have it close to like the Christmas tree or something. And so I knew that I wouldn't be able to place it down onto the little table and make it so your Sims can open them because it is a bit of a touchy object when it comes around to things being too close to it. And so it probably wouldn't work if I moved the the present pile into the end so yeah i just placed down a pile of pretend presents and basically made smaller versions of it ever so slightly bigger versions of it also placed down some flowers onto that table also placed down like some extra little bows and stuff and then currently as you can see over here i'm just basically going around and figuring out how i'm going to lay out the rest of the room now i can't lie to you i haven't been to a wedding myself in donkeys i think the last wedding i went to i must have been like 14 maybe 13 or something and for a bit of context i turned 26 this year which i actually can't believe i just I actually still feel like i'm 14 but i haven't been to a wedding in a while but i see a lot of films i see a lot of like homemade wedding videos and stuff like that and oftentimes in the background you'll see there just be like random seats like plonked up alongside the wall so if people are on the dance floor having a little like having a little boogie or something they're in a little like sing song and stuff you would often see some maybe like older sims in this case like sitting off to the side just watching them admiring them and stuff and so in some areas of this kind of like ballroom i placed down just like random chairs basically just running up alongside the wall and i was thinking maybe it's your sims older relatives and they like to sit there when the the married couple have like their first dance or something also end up placing down one of them round tables in this room as well. I was just thinking maybe they wanted to bring some of the food on the inside. They wanted to eat in like the main wedding dance area. And then I also end up placing down a bar. But I didn't use the one that we got from our wedding stories. I ended up going for the bar that we got from the Vampires game pack. The bar that we did get from the My Wedding Stories game pack it is really pretty. But it just seemed a little bit too modern. You would have seen when I was trying to pick out the bar. I did not initially pull it out but... It just seems a little bit too modernised, whereas the Vampire's Bar, kind of perfect for like a castle wedding venue kind of situation because it's kind of like a little bit, I don't want to say gothic, but it's a little bit like medieval, if you get what I mean. And so I decided to pop that into the corner. Also, by the way, if you don't end up having like a pretend band playing in the ballroom and you're looking at it thinking, I didn't end up adding like a, a radio station or a music station or something, I did add a music station, but it doesn't look like a music station. So on the little like platformed band area, if you want to put it that way, I end up placing down this music station that just looks like some sort of like guitar amp it's from the mosquito stuff pack but yeah it looks like it's meant to be a part of like the kit or like the equipment for your sims to set up and play for the evening but if you click on it you can turn it on and it is a music station but either way moving on as you can see i've now moved over into the next room which is another dining indoor seating room but it's kind of a bit of a restaurant. This is basically where if you wanted to play in this lot and you wanted it to run as a restaurant, this is pretty much where your sims would come to eat. So like I said, I really wanted to build this, this castle, this wedding venue to be multi-purpose and for it to serve multiple different 
basically gameplay ideas and gameplay opportunities. So as well as being a wedding venue where you can host your wedding ceremony, I really wanted it to be somewhere where if you wanted to, your sims could come here and they could have like their rehearsal dinner. Or if your sims just got engaged and they're really excited and they want to tell everyone about it, they could come here and they could have their engagement party or like the engagement dinner or something. This was more so the idea that I had for like the restaurant e kind of room. I was just thinking in my own personal gameplay, I'd probably get my sims to have their engagement dinner here, as well as like their, their rehearsal dinner, as kind of like a little preparation thing in terms of the wedding. And then also in my head, your sims can visit here, they can get like a good good sense of a lot, good sense of the surroundings and everything that this ceremony has to offer and like what could be a part of their wedding. And so yeah, the, the whole basically idea that I had against the little like seating room and like the restaurant areas, if you wanted to, you could just have your sims have it. So if they did want to have their rehearsal dinner here, they can do it in this lot. And yeah, it fully runs as a restaurant. Like I said, I play tested this, this whole entire build twice for the wedding ceremony, just because I wanted to make sure the efficient can actually get behind the wedding arch. But then I also play tested it as a normal restaurant. And I also got my sims to like run around and made sure that like everything works. And when I say this, by the way, I am being quite literal. I literally get my sims to run around, sit on every single seat, play test every single mirror, sit on every single seat in the sofa. Nobody got like a three seater sofa in the game. I won't just click on the middle of the sofa and click sit here because sometimes you might find that your sims can sit in the middle of the sofa on the left hand side but they can't get through to the right hand side so whenever i play test my builds i'm so thorough like i literally get my sims to sit on every single surface just i play test absolutely everything because i just want to have the peace of mind knowing that when i upload a build to the gallery you're not going to have any problems with it like you'll never run into any problems i at least try and make it that way and so yeah, I did just want to mention that, but as you would have seen, in like the official dining room, I ended up placing down a similar seating arrangement to what I did on the outside. And what I mean by that, we have one initial table that I was picturing that the married couple would sit on. It's only got two seats on, and it kind of like faces the rest of the tables. And the other tables just have multiple different chairs going around them. To be honest, I didn't get that creative with the different chairs that I used in the dining areas. I just used the same ones that I used outside, but... I really like them. They're the ones that we got from the My Wedding Stories game pack. And pretty much ever since we've had the My Wedding Stories in our game, which we've had My, My Wedding Stories for like, what, two years now? And I'm only now getting around to building a wedding venue, but we've had My Wedding Stories in our game for so long. And we've got these beautiful chairs that you can place down into your wedding venue lots. And they've got all these little like flower details, all these different ribbons. And I feel like I'd never use them because they're just so set to be for yeah a wedding venue or a wedding party lot and so i never seemed to use them but when it came around to this build i basically used the same chair over and over again because i thought it was really pretty but either way as you can see i'm just coming in now and decorating one of the last kind of like reception rooms that you're going to see so in here this is the reception room where i was thinking your sims would kind of like meet their parents before they go outside and walk down the aisle so in there i placed down three three-seater sofas the ones that i've used are from the cottage gym expansion pack they were just so perfect for this build because they're this really beautiful like creamy color and so i placed them down also placed down at the vampire's fireplace and then also a really big table which i think of memory is from the cats and dogs expansion pack it looks to be a little bit more like rustic and a little bit more like worn but the kind of like approach that i had to furnishing the inside of this build you probably tell by now but i wanted it to be obviously like a castle on the inside but I wanted there to be a lot of different soft furnishings but then mix in some like little rustic details here and there so the, the doors look a little bit older the windows are obviously older as well they're from the castle kit but I tried to have a lot of rustic furniture and then merge it in with yeah some like soft beige colours here and there and yeah it was a kind of like a little reception room that your sims would I was picturing meet their family before they go outside and walk down the aisle but Either way, moving on, as you can see, I just finished up that little, like, meeting room. I then went around and just basically changed some of the different flower colours in this build because we've got these really beautiful flowers. You can actually see I've placed them down in there. They're from the My Wedding Stories game pack. Never used them before. Again, with the check, it's just something that I always see in the catalogue and I always want to use, but you can't really use this particular plant in, like, your regular suburban family homes. It's the one that is really green, it's quite big, and currently it's got these little pink flowers. Now, initially, when I came into this build, I, I placed that down, but I placed it down so it's got these little white flowers, but then I just basically had a bit of a change of art, and so I decided to make it so the little flowers end up being this kind of like pastel, almost like a dusty rose colour. I thought it was really pretty but then currently as you can see in here i'm just coming in and doing one of the first bedrooms which ends up being almost like a 
a dressing room. So like I said, for two of the three bedrooms in this in this build, I tried to make them so they are bedrooms. Like your Sims can stay in here overnight. I was thinking maybe your Sims parents or maybe if your Sims wedding party, if they've got some really close friends that have been a part of the wedding and they want to stay with them, or maybe your Sims have got kids or something, they could definitely sleep in these beds. But I was more so picturing that these rooms would mostly be used to get your Sims ready for their big day. So in this particular room, I ended up placing down a little like makeup station in the corner the one that i've used is from the get together no it's not it's from the get famous oh it's always so confusing there's so many different expansion packs that have get in the name but the get famous expansion pack we have this little like makeup station that you can basically place down and you can go around and offer random sims makeovers if you fancy so i was thinking maybe someone in your sims wedding party they've shown up they've got a haircut that you're not particularly fond of and you don't want to be in your sim screenshots and so you could basically just offer them a free makeover and basically just change their hair or their makeup or something so i put that down into this room that also ends up being the makeup vanity the one that i use is from the vintage glamour stuff pack and in all fairness it has very similar gameplay opportunities that look like bar stool over in the corner the one by the way from get famous is that cushion bar stool on the left hand side i'm just jigging it about over here but yeah that one's from get famous and you can actively see what you're doing when your sims use that makeup vanity station rather than the one that we got from the vintage glamour stuff pack i do really like and i like adding it into like my sims bedrooms and stuff and i feel like especially for this particular like changing room i just thought it was perfect but I can't lie, I don't really use it for applying makeup that often in my own personal gameplay because maybe it's just me, but I have no idea what a smoky eye with a red lip is going to look like in terms of the makeup options that we have in the game because the, the Get Famous makeup still, you can actively like choose the individual eyeshadow, you can choose the blush, you can choose the lipstick, rather than the Vintage Glamour makeup station you just got to wing it and just hope that the one that you you chose ends up looking nice because it's pretty much just, it gives you a brief description. We haven't got a clue what it's actually going to end up looking like, but I always like it to be in my Sims bedrooms anyway. And plus you can get your Sims to use it like a normal mirror. And so, yeah, I decided to plonk that into the corner. But then also in that room as well, I scattered about loads of different debug objects that we've got from the my wedding stories game pack so i placed down like little notes which i was personally picturing your sims has been sitting down they've been writing out their vows and they're maybe like rehearsing their vows when they're getting ready for their big day also placed down like little ring cushions i placed down like some more little flower power baskets scattered about the room i then also placed down and i have no idea what it's called so hopefully you know what i'm talking about you know sometimes if you have someone wearing a suit they have some sort of like little flower thing on like one of the pockets, hopefully following along with me. I don't know what they're called, but you have them in the debug menu or some sort of thing that looks like them. I basically thought maybe there is a lot of different people in this wedding party and a lot of them wear suits because I end up placing down them little flower debug things scattered all over that room in the other bedrooms, in other areas of the build. I just, I just place it down a ton basically just because I thought it was like a nice object to use it from the debug menu but either way as you would have seen i just quickly did the second changing room which was very similar to the first one the only real difference is it's a tiny bit smaller and that one also ends up having a bathroom but you can currently see i have now moved on to the other bathroom this is the bathroom that ends up being for the marriage suite so in here it is absolutely colossal like this is probably one of the biggest bathrooms i've ever decorated but i also think on the same token it's probably one of my favorite bathrooms that i've ever decorated so in here i use the castle estate kit window as kind of like the shower curtain window divider thing i don't know how you explain it but i basically wanted there to be a walk-in shower but make it castle like <laughs> so i basically built a little bit of a platform and then i placed down a spandrel that we got from the castle estate here also placed down the matching column and then normally i'd place down either some like little roof details that we got from island living or maybe it's like a plain base game standard kind of standard kind of window but for this build where i'm building this this wedding venue to be somewhat of like an older kind of like abandoned ish castle now made into a wedding venue i thought well, why don't i just try and experiment and use the the castle estate kit window 
as part of the shower and I really like it. I just think it looks so pretty and so I'm so happy that yeah, I decided to do that. Also something that I do wanna mention and to be honest, I probably should have mentioned this a little bit sooner and this is only my second time mentioning it verbally on the channel and both times. I just get too, too in depth with my voiceovers and I forget about it but basically I have now got an affiliate code for the EA app and the sims.com, which basically means if you do fancy buying the castle estate kit, if you use the code Jessica Pye at checkout, you basically help support me as a creator and you help support the channel. I probably made that sound like it's only for the castle estate kit. If you buy any kit, any game pack, stuff pack, expansion pack, basically, if you buy any sort of DLC for The Sims 4 and you use my code Jessica Pye, I will pretty much earn a small commission fee off your purchase. Unfortunately, it's not a discount code. I really wish it was, but it's basically just something that you can do to, yeah, help support me and help support, support the channel. But because I have said that, I do just want to mention that this small portion of the video is sponsored by Electronic Arts. Thank you, EA, for giving me an affiliate code. Still can't believe they gave me an affiliate code, but yeah, that is a thing that, that recently happened. I know also I'm putting this in such, like, I'm basically telling you at the end of the video, but to be honest, I just get so carried away when I sit down and talk to you, I just forget about it. But the reason why I just thought about it is because I got word that I was now part of the affiliate program once the castle estate kit launched so now whenever i think about that kit it's always just it comes to the front form of my mind but yeah if you do use my code i would i would really appreciate it please don't feel like you have to but it's a free thing like it could help support me it doesn't cost you a penny and if you don't use my code use someone else's there are so many different creators now that have a creator code so if you don't use mine use someone else's and just help support them and help support their channels but Either way, other than that, I'm basically gonna go around this build, finish it off, and that is pretty much it. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this voiceover right here. As always, you can download this build via the gallery. My gallery ID is JessicaPyYT, or you should search for the hashtag JessicaPyYT, or just the hashtag JessicaPy. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, if you do like my content, then please do subscribe, and hopefully, I will see you in my next Sims 4 speedboarding video. Bye, guys.